Hi, I'd like to start a series where I review Apple Arcade games. This one's called Beyond a Steel Sky, and it's already voted down to a 3.8 on the ratings. It's a single player, post-apocalyptic cyberpunk adventure, a lot like Fallout 3. And it's by Revolution Studios, it supports game controllers, and sports a cel-shaded graphic art style. So to give you that comic book feel, it's gonna make you feel a lot like you're playing Borderlands actually. And the art director is a legendary comic artist, Dave Givens, credited with the works of Watchmen. Right away, I gotta say, I did not like this camera angle. It's too close. If it wasn't for the fact that I played this game on ultra widescreen, I probably would have uninstalled it right away. I can't imagine playing on a phone or a regular screen with that kind of a close up. This game actually progresses by either solving puzzles, having conversations, or making choices. And when I say choices, I mean there's only one clear option. Thank you. I needed this. I needed the camera to zoom out and show me the world. You're not able to do that with that close camera. It's just so impossible to get a look around and see the world for what it is. Another thing that kind of annoyed me about this game is Right when I started, I found some leaflets on the ground that were like pages, and I picked them up thinking that they were items. They're actually director commentary, and they're scattered throughout the game. There is so much of them. They're not actually items. They're just commentary. This is what I was talking about before. The camera is so close to the character that when you pan around, you can't actually get a good look at the world. Now, conversations are really important in this game in progressing the story, kind of in the same way that it was for Dragon Age or Mass Effect or Knights of the Old Republic or several other games. The conversation gives you options, you select one, and it progresses the story. But instead of that option being a choice, here, you can actually go back and select all of the options and fully explore that conversation. Overall, I kind of like this game. Um, I just couldn't tolerate the camera angle enough to progress through it. So in the end, I played it enough to do this review and then I uninstalled it. I just couldn't get around that camera angle. It was too much of a deal breaker for me. I think it would have been a better comic book than it was a game. Um, I hope you enjoyed the review, and follow me, Beard Snack, on YouTube and Twitch.